Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Katie and I'm the organic esthetician. Okay, so today's video is a little different. We are not talking about skincare. I did a little retail therapy. I've been a little sad lately and it's a bad habit that maybe you can relate to. Left to my own devices, I like I like to shop. I thought it would be fun to do an unboxing video with you and show you some of the items that I bought. So all of the products I'm talking about today, I purchased myself. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. They're just all so interesting and I thought it would be fun to share it with you. Welcome to this little corner of my new office. I'm playing around with filming in new spaces and so we are not in my bathroom today because this is not a video about skincare. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to everyone that left messages and comments on my last video. I really appreciate it. It's been really challenging lately. This whole year has been really hard, I know for everyone. And then losing an animal on top of that was, was a little much, to be honest. So thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. Everyone deals with grief a little differently. I've been really focused on work and making videos for you guys, writing blog posts and Instagram, just doing all the things. And I also... Did a little retail therapy. I don't know if anyone else shops when they're sad, but somehow that's a thing that I do. Not super awesome, but it happened. Like I said, this is not a skincare video. So I focus mostly on organic skincare and anti-aging devices. And I talk a lot about how harmful chemicals that are in mainstream skincare can be for your body. And the reality is that harmful chemicals are in everything, truly from your mattress and your couch to your toothpaste and your shampoo. Like it's in everything and it's in clothing too. So as a lot of you know, last month I moved from LA to Monterey. I felt like it was a really good time to like edit my life. And I donated and sold most of my belongings. As I add in pieces, moving forward, I really wanted to be mindful about what types of products I was buying. All of the clothes I'm going to show you today are sustainably made. So whether it means that they have like localized production and then like a small carbon footprint or they're pioneering new technology to create fabrics made from recycled plastic bottles or seaweed or there's some fun, cool stuff. Everything kind of showed up around the same time and I was waiting to open everything until I had a moment to sit down and do it with all of you. So all of these companies are new to me. This is my first time purchasing from all of them, which means that I'm anticipating some size issues. I really wasn't totally sure on what sizes to buy. So I have one, two, three, four packages from four different companies. So everything's a little different. I have some stuff for going into winter, lots of loungy, comfy, sweatpant kind of situation because that's what I live in. I did buy a swimming suit, which I don't know if it's gonna fit me. Uh, they didn't have my size, so I bought the size smaller. Uh, we'll see. My boyfriend's parents live in Hawaii. And so I think in the future, we will go visit them. I know the islands just let up their quarantine restrictions. To be honest, the idea of getting on a plane right now sounds terrifying, but it might be happening in the future. So I'll keep you posted. All right, so I'm gonna unbox everything, show you what I bought, and we'll talk a little bit about the brands as we go along, because there's some really cool companies out there and I'm really excited to share them with you. Okay, so the first package is from the Girlfriend Collective. It came in a craft paper envelope that's made out of 100% recycled material. So the Girlfriend Collective is a sustainable activewear company that makes workout clothes from 
recycled materials, which I think is really interesting. Um, each item that they offer has a sustainability report, and I'm going to share the reports with you on the items that I bought. I bought three things from the Girlfriend Collective. So they specifically take EPA-free plastic bottles and they turn them into this this fabric, it's called PET. So in the sustainability report, it'll show you how many plastic bottles they saved from the landfill, how much CO2 or water was saved. So pretty interesting. Oh, this is so neat. So instead of each item being wrapped in plastic, like clothing normally comes in, this is like a fabric bag made from 100% recycled material. Very cool. I've heard nothing but really amazing reviews about this company. Okay, so I bought two sports bras and one pair of workout pants, everything in black. Um, maybe I should say before we get into this, like, do you care what size I am? I don't know. I've never done a video like this before. I am five, six and a half. I am now 145 pounds. Usually I'm a size eight, sometimes I'm a six and almost always a medium across the board. So I bought two different sports bras to try. I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep both of them, um, but I thought I would kind of check them out. And then I bought a pair of workout pants also. So this is the Float Cleo. It's like a kind of cropped racerback tank. And it has an elastic band here on the inside. And I have to tell you that this fabric is so soft. It feels very nice. And here's the sustainability report. So save 10 bottles, just under 14 pounds of CO2. And then there's energy saved as well. It's interesting. This is the black Topanga bra. So this has a crisscross back that's adjustable and then it's a higher neckline and then also has that like elastic band kind of like under the bust. Neither of these seem like they're very high support. I really like wearing like a built-in bra tank top or like something like this around the house when I'm working. I hate wearing bras on a regular basis. <laughs> so that was kind of what I was thinking. So maybe for at home or walks or like Pilates, not necessarily for runs or like high intensity workouts. So the Topanga bra, there's sustainability report. I'm gonna put right here so you can see it. But this top saved 11 water bottles from the landfill, prevented over eight pounds of CO2 and saved a little over a gallon of water. Okay, and then this is what I was really excited about. So this is their high rise pocket legging. So just like a black workout pant, but it has the cell phone pocket on the side, which I really like. I walk a lot. I've been going to the beach a lot here. Um, and it's nice to be hands-free with, I have old wrist injuries and I just hate having to hold things in my hands. I like being able to put them in a pocket or in a backpack or a bag. I don't have to have any weight on my wrists. All right, so the leggings, maybe because they're larger, have a bigger impact, which I think is interesting to think about. Normally I just wear Lululemon and I love Lulu, but maybe I'm gonna love these Girlfriend Collective pants instead. So here's the sustainability report. 25 water bottles saved, over 18 pounds of CO2 prevented, and three gallons of water saved. So let's try these on. I really like a high rise. I like feeling sucked in, which I think these very much do. They were a little challenging to get on, to be honest. Uh, the mediums are quite snug, but it has a nice like sucked in feeling, which I really like. Um, I would say the medium bra feels a little less supportive, like could be a little more snug, like through the chest, I would say but it's cute. And again, all of the fabric is wildly soft. Okay, this is the Float Clio. I think this fits a little better than, I like the racer back. I would say again, not a lot of support happening up top, but I think I like this one better. 
But this material is just so nice. I think the float Clio and the high rise pocket leggings are a win. I think I'm gonna wear this a lot. The next company is called Mate the Label. They're a clean essentials brand that's based in Los Angeles. Everything's made using non-toxic, natural, and organic materials. Because they're in LA and their entire supply chain is in LA, able to limit their carbon footprint by keeping everything localized, which is nice. If I was still in, in LA, it would have kept that even tighter, huh? <laughs> okay, so they make sweatpants. I've had this set pinned on my board for a really long time. They would sell out and then it would be available again. And, and all of this stuff isn't inexpensive. So, you know, I had to kind of wait till I had money set aside to invest in pieces like this. Just like the Girlfriend Collective's packaging, this came in a recycled um, like craft envelope. So also no plastic. This is like a craft, like tissue paper that everything's wrapped in, which is nice. So I bought the Organic Terry front pocket sweatpant and the Organic Terry cropped hoodie, both in black and both in a size medium. So they're just like a drawstring sweatpant. It's a wide leg sweatpant with a raw edge stepped hem so it's a little shorter in the front than it is in the back and the sweatshirt is a cropped hooded sweatshirt both the top and bottom have a white matching drawstring both of these items are made out of 100 percent organic cotton and then this is a pretty alarming statistic organic cotton uses 87 percent less water than commodity farmed cotton and emits 45 percent less greenhouse gases I feel like this is really educational and makes you mindful about the clothes that maybe you already have. So let's try these on. So here's the sweatshirt and sweatpants. Again, they're both in a size medium. So the sweatshirt is like a loose fit crop. The sweatpants are medium and they are snug. And then they're a cropped bottom also which I like the length. You know, I think sweatpants are an item that always stretches, so maybe it's nice to get them snug to begin with. I'd be worried about them shrinking in the wash, huh? Do I need a large? Hmm. I think I'm gonna put on more lip gloss. This is from Say. Is that how you say it? S A I E, Say. So creamy. I don't normally like a nude lip gloss. These are nice. It's kind of like a lip butter almost. It's their really great gloss and easy. I wore a bold red lip for so long that it's been weird getting used to not doing that. Um, okay, so the next company is called Panjaya, which I'm very excited. Maybe I'm most excited about this company out of everything that I got. I just think that they're doing such neat stuff. So, okay, they just sent it in a cardboard box. Cardboard's recyclable. Panjaya is the name of the company. I believe they're based out of the UK, so maybe that's like a minus points for carbon footprint because it had to be flown here. They are like an essentials company. They make sweatpants, sweatshorts, t-shirts, long sleeves, sweatshirts, like basics. And then they make them in every color possible. So they have like, I don't know, like under 10 styles that they offer. And then each style comes in, you know, 25 colors or something like that. So Panjaya considers themselves a materials science company, which sounds crazy. They're a clothing company, but they are doing some really interesting innovation when it comes to textiles and material. And so that's where their focus is. Okay, so let's open this up and then I'll tell you more about that. 
It looks like one item came in a drawstring bag. It says, this bag is designed to be repurposed, reuse it, be kind to the planet. And then the second top that I bought, I bought a long sleeve shirt and a sweatshirt and they're both crop. <sighs> Apparently I really <laughs> like cropped sweatshirts. Uh, I, I'm realizing now that I bought a lot of the same things, I kind of wear the same thing every day. So maybe that gives you a little insight into me. This top came in plastic, but it's compostable. This package is part bio-based, acting to preserve both your new garment and your environment. Once opened, please discard responsibly in a compost facility to allow full disappearance within 24 weeks. Very cool. So this is a long-sleeved cropped t-shirt. So the majority of their products, the only like branding they have is a little blurb that talks about what the product's actually made out of. So here, so this t-shirt is made from seaweed and organic cotton with just a touch of natural peppermint. Okay, so this is what's so cool about them. So they use organic cotton. So from Mate the Label, we already learned how much water and greenhouse gas we save by buying organic cotton versus regular cotton. And then they combine that with seaweed, which is a sustainable resource. And they do this thing called peppermint treating to make it um, a little more antimicrobial and like scent resistant. It doesn't smell like peppermint. It doesn't, you know, it just smells like how you would expect it to smell. But the idea is that you don't have to wash it as often. So you're saving water. Okay. And then I bought a sweatshirt. So one long sleeve black t-shirt and then one long sleeve cropped sweatshirt. This is in gray. This sweatshirt is colored with an environmentally friendly dye created using a recycled water system. The fabric is made from organic cotton. So that's what it says here. And then on the back bottom, it says Panjaya on it. It's a nice weight. Oh, I have a feeling I'm just gonna buy everything from this company. Oh. Okay, let's try it on. Okay, so I think it's worth mentioning that this is a unisex company. So they have extra small to extra large sizing for men and women. And so while normally I'm a medium, because of this, I thought that it would run big. And so I bought smalls in both and I'm very happy that I did because the sleeves are long, but the length on the crop I think is perfect and very cozy. Oh, I'm buying so many more of these, aren't I? Ooh, I love it. So this is the organic cotton crop sweatshirt. It's a little wrinkly. It's definitely more cropped than the t-shirt was, but the sleeves aren't quite as long. So like, I think I maybe could have done a medium in the sweatshirt, but I'm really happy with the small in the organic cotton long sleeve. All right, so the last item I bought is from La Causa. It came in a craft envelope like the others, and it's made out of 100% recycled material. So La Causa means the cause in Spanish. So they're a Los Angeles-based clothing company that focuses on low waste design. They use ethical manufacturing processes, and then their whole thing is the cause. So they donate to different causes and they have a whole list on their website of all the different organizations that they work with. They have a lot of really beautiful silks and dresses and jumpsuits and then a whole like basics section they call the uniform. I bought a swimming suit because I was maybe trying to manifest my Hawaiian vacation. <laughs> I don't think it's working. Okay, so this is the first item that came in plastic. However, it's recyclable. Don't suffocate on it, it says. Ooh. Ooh, it's soft. And uh, it's just a black one piece. I'm pretty conservative, I would say. 
especially as I get older, huh? Has like a low back and a thin strap. So I thought it was kind of like classic and cute. So this swimming suit is made out of recycled polyester. Truly, the texture is really nice. Like right up there with the Girlfriend Collective texture. Um, I think the Girlfriend Collective has like maybe a little more warmth to it. Well, this kind of has that like stays cool fabric feel. They only had a small or a large, so I bought the small. <laughs> um, if this looks too insane, we are not gonna put this on the internet. Let's find out. I think maybe I need the medium. It doesn't look crazy. This is the most naked I've ever been on a video. <laughs> um, ooh. So I like the low back. I think it is going to be up my booty though. Um, so I think definitely the medium. Yeah, even just standing here, it is writing up. <sighs> it's no longer a full coverage bottom. So medium it is. All right, so some things were definitely winners and a few things I think I'm probably gonna be sending back. One thing that I wanna mention, I haven't gotten one of these yet, but something to think about, it's called a guppy bag. It looks like a delicates bag, like you would put your bra or like your nightgown in before you put it in the wash. But it's made out of special material that it collects microplastics. Some of these companies are using recycled polyester or using fabric made out of water bottles. When you wash items like that, teeny little microparticles of plastic come off of the clothes. And this happens with all clothes, ones made out of synthetic materials. So maybe that could be your first step into introducing uh, a sustainable practice into your life is just washing your clothes in this guppy bag. So uh, different, maybe not good. I don't know. If you liked this video, let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. Tell me in the comments down below. If you didn't like this video, constructive criticism is helpful. Just be nice about it. <laughs> you can say you didn't like a video in a lovely way while telling me what kind of videos you'd rather see. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you subscribe. Okay. Next week, we will be back to our regular programming, talking about all things organic, anti-aging skincare. Stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye.